Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this Logic Pro Quick Tip, I'm gonna show you how to set up your workflow for three tool operation rather than two tool operation as is standard and the setting by default in Logic Pro. So if you're new to editing in Logic, your edit tools are right here, and by default, you just get two tools. You have your standard left-click tool, and then you have your command click tools. So most of the time, I'm just using the main tool, the pointer tool, as well as the marquee tool, which I can toggle to when I hold command. To add three tools up here, you're gonna go up to Logic Pro, Preferences, General, and then from this dialog, you're gonna go to Editing, and then down here, there's a menu that says right mouse button opens shortcut menus. So that's what this normally does. You can right click out here and it gives you a shortcut menu. And if you don't select a region, you get a different shortcut menu as well. However, if you want your right mouse button to be a separate tool, you can just click here and you can select is assignable to a tool. And what this will do is it will convert the tools to three separate tools. So now the first tool is the left click tool, just your standard left click tool, so that's my pointer tool. The middle tool becomes your command click tool, so now that's my marquee tool. And the right click tool is the one on the right, and this right now is set up as the scissors tool. Now most of the time, I typically just operate with the pointer tool and the marquee tool for about 90% of my editing operations. However, if you're someone who prefers a three tool operation, or maybe you use one of these other tools quite a bit, this workflow might be helpful for you. And that's pretty much it. You can set this up any way you like. You can choose any tool you want as your right-click tool. However, I don't recommend this workflow for someone who uses a trackpad because you're already having to control click uh, on the trackpad for right-clicking. And I don't think there's actually a right-click function on trackpads. There might be a way to set this up. So I only recommend using this workflow if you have a mouse or a trackball so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.